partner. Hello, stranger. Comfortable what the camp you got here. Yeah. Why don't you join us? Thank you. We will. Make yourself to home. I see. Why, the old Maverick himself. We've just been talking about it. Why, Ken! You <laughs> won't horse fly! <laughs> That was easy. I heard you playing. You're the world's worst, you know. <laughs> <laughs> See, where you been keeping yourself the last two or three years? I've been settled down in my own place for quite a spell. Kind of got a hankering to see the gang, though. And, well, I'm here, ain't I? Boy, you're uh, sure <laughs> welcome. You know a lot of the boys here. The rest of them would be mighty proud to meet up with you. Sure, come on, hey, boys. Hey, cowboys, come up here. Hey, you you know, old buddy here. Hey, boys. Hello, Billy. Bill, how are you? Glad to see you, Ken. <laughs> Bud, this looks like quite a gathering. It's quite a reunion, isn't it, huh? <laughs> yeah, I say, Ken, I just put a brand new bridge in this old fiddle box. Give her some of that old time music like you used to play. Yeah. Well, I don't mind if I do. You fellas are getting along pretty good when I come up, though. Sounds mighty good. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mr. Chooser, what do you want to play, partner? Well, I don't think there's any better rain song than that old strawberry roll of yours, Curly. Let's play it. Oh, 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 You're like old times, boys. <laughs> for wine and for women, he never was strong. But he's a double bar wildcat when it comes to song. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't changed a bit, Shanty. The only versifying cowboy in captivity, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sitting? Everything's all right now. Let's go. All right, here we go. I was hanging around, just wasting my time. Out of a job and not holding the time. When a feller steps up and he says, I suppose, that you're a wrong fighter by the looks of your clothes. You guesses me right and a good one I claim. Have you got it? Yeah, come on back. <laughs> well, gang, how goes it? Anyhow? How you been getting along? Oh, all right, Ken. We're still punching doggies. Yeah, where are you working now? Up on the North Fork, Ken. Oh, I thought it was over in that Brush Creek country. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> what do you got to say for yourself, old buzzard? Not much, Ken. Punching cows and just as poor as I always was. <laughs> <laughs> Curly, that reminds me of the old days. That sure is some song. I'll say it is. And that sure was some horse. <laughs> yeah. Some horse, what do you mean? Well, that's only a song, some hombre rope. Says you, smart guy. There sure was such a horse. Hey, Ken, tell these fellas about that old strawberry roan, will you? Why, well, yeah, what's the matter? Well, some of these boys don't believe there ever was such a horse. I guess there was such a horse, wasn't there, boys? Well, said it was. Oh, and what a pony. You tell them about it. He sure will. Say, Shanty. Let's play the strawberry roan again for him, just to get him in the spirits. Mm, nice and easy like. I wasn't a whole lot to it. Bunch of us was over there in that rim rock country one time. Pretty poor, didn't have a dime in our pocket. I want a Here you go, 
boy. Yes, Al. This is sure going to hit the spot. This ain't going to miss. Mm. You know... Ah. I thought you hombres were out looking for a job. Well, I should toil and fret and sweat around and up dump steers. Went for a tune, I can earn my room and have some left for beers. Well, we was out looking for work all morning, Ken. Honest we was. The job's awful scarce around these parts. Yeah, you're right, boys. I've been out all morning myself, couldn't find a thing. Take the lines there, daughter. You wait here a few minutes for me, will you? Yes, sir. I won't be long. Bart. Bart. Gosh, Bart, hurry. You know this rheumatism has got me down? Yes, sir. Take it easy now. Gosh, these rheumatics are certainly the old Harry. Give me my stick. Give it to me. You know I can't move much without it. I've got to ask for everything I get. Bart. Remember, no drinking. Who, me? Not a chance. Come on, come on, Bart. Hurry up, will you? What's the matter with you? All right, boy. Hello, Jim. Hi. Hi, Jim. Oh, I ain't seen you so good today. The old man's got it up. Good. Now you're looking pretty good. is out of a job and looking for work. You can count me and my two partners in on that, Mr. Edwards. I'll say you can. Boss, it'd be cheaper to let that room run off a few mirrors now and then instead of staging such a roundup. No, but I'm determined to see that room saddle That suits me, Jim. We'll make a contest of it. Contest? Yes, and I'll hang up a prize it'll be well worth riding for. What prize? To the man who can ride that room till he quits. I'll deed my title to the Double Bar Ranch. You mean it? Yes, sir. Well, what do you think of that? that that's some prize, ain't it, eh? Say, Short Sandy, any one of us can ride that roan. Colonel, that looks like a mighty big prize for just a little horse riding. What's the catch? No catch. I've got enough to last me the rest of my life. And I have a notion that the man who finally conquers that roan will be the kind of man to own the double bar. Jim, when you get that roan corral, let me know. And we'll begin the contest. Attention, boys. Any of you boys that want to get in on this, better saddle up. I'm leaving for the ranch pronto. Hello, Alice. I didn't know you were in town. How have you been? Fine, Ken, but I feel neglected. Why haven't you been over to see me? Well, <laughs> I've been pretty busy looking for a job. I finally found one, though. That's good. Something I've been wanting to do for a long, long time. You're not going away. I'm afraid I am. Oh, Ken. I'm coming right over to your house and go to work. Your father just hired me. No. <laughs> sure he did. Well, now maybe we'll get rid of this cussing row. Well, we better, boss. We don't want to change him for a long time. Careful, Ken. Careful. Careful. Take my cane, daughter. Yes, Daddy. Boost up a little bit there. Hey, ah, uh, Daddy. Uh, Gosh, that hurts. Uh, 
You might as well learn your place right now, cowboy. Mount up with the rest of the hands. Look here, Bart. I ain't assigning in with any of them highfalutin notions of yours. Now, Mr. Edwards, as your foreman, I think I ought to be able to handle these men in my own way. All right, Bart. Have it your own way. You got your orders. Get going. All right, partner. Here we go. Let's get rolling on out of here. Come on, kid. Let's get going. Come on, let's go. Be right with you, boys. Boys, there's your wild horses, all right. Strawberry rolling himself. I wonder where that pimple came from. I've never seen him before. What a battle he's putting up. Say, you know, I've been looking that herd over pretty careful, like. I can't seem to see them blooded mares Big Jim's been losing. Can you, Bart? Now's your time, boys. Write him down. Wait a minute. That's no way to go about catching that animal. That is, providing you really want to snare him. Just what do you mean by that? Why, well, we ought to split up. Sneak up on him. Less danger of a stampede that way. All right, Masters. You ramrod the outfit. I'll look on. All right. Hey, boys! You fellas go out over those rim rocks and down that north canyon, will you? The rest of you boys better slip down that coulee over there and come up on the left-hand side. I'm going to watch this box canyon. We'll round them up in no time. It's going to be a cinch. Go ahead, get after it, boys. Miss Alice, I wish you'd keep an eye on Bart. Don't let him know you're watching him. You mean that... I don't know anything yet. I got a suspicion he don't want the room caught.
Now, we've got to take it easy, boys. You fellas better circle up over that hog back. I'll watch this canyon. Go ahead. Oh, oh boy, oh, easy. Now, listen. Bust straight down on the herd and chase that stallion off. If anybody spots you, why, we'll say you were drunk. Savvy? Sure. With that roan corral, it's going to be kind of hard covering up the loss of any more mares that's liable to... Shut up. Get going. That's all. I was trying to four-foot it. Yeah? Yeah. I guess you were all right. Well, you got out of that all right, didn't you? I'll say I did. You're lucky. 
You're not hurt, are you? No. I cried. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got him all right, but riding him is liable to be something else. He's really sorry, ain't he? He sure don't look tough to me. And say, Shanty, you better ride double with Curly and leave your horse here for Miss Alice. All right, kid. Now, Buck. Don't get jealous. I haven't forgotten you. Here. Miss Alice, what are you trying to do? Tame him like you did the deer? I hope to. We were getting along fine until you came along. I can't understand that. He's been perfectly quiet. I guess it's because he's penned up. It would be a shame to break his spirit. You think you can ride him? Well, I don't know, Miss Alice. I'm sure going to give him a mighty whirl if I get a chance. Ken, please be careful. Why, of course I will. <laughs> Hello, honey. We've been looking for you. Yes, we want you to draw the names of the boys that are going to try to ride the road. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd love to, Colonel. Come on, come on now. Let's get going. Hey, boys! Come on, get started. Say, you. I want you to keep away from Alice. Savvy? We're engaged. I don't believe it. Do you mean to call me a liar? Yeah. You guessed it the first time. Well, I don't want to cause any trouble now. We'll settle this after the contest. You mean if I turn my back, don't you, Hawkins? I hope I'm going first. <coughs> well, Jim, it looks as though it's going to be mighty tough for somebody. I reckon is how. Boys, in this hat of slips of paper containing the names of all of you, Alice will draw them one at a time until someone succeeds in riding the room. How does that suit you, boys? Boy, yeah. I'm fired up, folks. Hope I get the first set now. Yeah, man. Well, I sure hope this is my lucky day. Yeah, and I'm feeling just right. Man, but I'm going to hang on to this rabbit's foot with my left paw. Shanty! Shanty! Hey, where are you, Shanty? Yeah, yeah. Where are you, Shanty? Hey, there, you longhorn. A lot of luck to you. You're going to need it, too, when you ride that critter. Old Strawberry Road is sure in for a ride. I'm going to tie him in bonnets and peel off his hide. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, boys. Get the hand on him. Hey, you might hold out here, boys. Let's get this Get on. <laughs> Get him out, boys. Hold him out. Hold on him if you can, Hank. Get the halter. Come on, put that halter on him, bud. Well, hold him there right still there. We'll get him on him here. Hold him right still there now. Oh, 
Uh, he just knocked out. Let's take him up there, man. See what we can do for him there. He's not hurt. Hey, he's not... <laughs> Here, pick out the next victim. <laughs> no, I hope the leg's not Hey, he's not hurt right, very bad, fellas. Let's make another drawing. Come on, let's make another drawing. He'll be all right. Let's go see who's going to ride next. Right here, boy. I'll take you back. Right. 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 I don't think there's any broken bones. He just knocked out. Pretty hard ride. You better take him to the bunkhouse, boys. Okay. Right. Just shaking up a little. Uh, He'll be all right. Well, there's one of them out of the way. You mind? Yeah. Naked? Yeah. Come on, Alice. Let's have some more fun. This contest is an outrage, and I'm not going to have anything more to do with it. Well, it doesn't make matter that, old boy. Well, I sure like to get a chance at that myself. I'll see if I can get her to change her mind, Colonel. Okay. Okay. All right, kid. Well, Jim, I guess it's up to you to pick them. Don't like it. Say, Roy, come on, we're going to pick another number out of here. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Wonder who's going to be lucky this time. Well, are you all ready? Sure. Well, here she goes. Slim. Oh! Hey, you get a ride this time, Mama. Come on, man. Alice, you can Honey, I wouldn't worry about the cowboys getting hurt in this contest. They're used to that sort of thing. Nothing is worth risking your life for, Ken. I'm afraid I'm going to have to disagree with you. There's one thing I know is, and then some. There he is. Say, I wonder if this little hombre is really hurt bad. No, he's all right, or you couldn't kill him with a pickaxe. Well, if he's playing possum, I'll bring him out of it. Go ahead. What's going on here? Nothing going on but a lot coming off. Lay down, cowboy. Oh, now, wait a minute, boys. What's this here? Oh! Well... Oh. How's Jenny, boys? Hey! hey. Guess he's all right. See, you don't like <laughs> worrying for nothing. You can't kill a cowboy. Let him move. He picked out a nice soft place, didn't he? Cowboys are smart that way. <laughs> The man whose name is on this paper should get the next ride. That is, providing Curly fails to make the grade. That's fair. Is that fair? Yeah. All right. All right. All right. But if this contest goes over another day, you'll get a crack at the roan the first thing in the morning. 
Colonel, once I throw a leg over that cayuse, you're going to get a moving picture of your ranch moving right out on you. Oh, yeah? But remember, I'm riding him now. Now, take a deep seat, cowboy. Now, listen, you fellas. When you turn him loose, I want you to get plumb away from him. I don't want any interference. I'm going to ride this roan till he quits. All right, let's go. That roan was going to pour you to death, yeah, Ken. Sure well, he was doing his best for a minute, wasn't he? <laughs> hey, we better get that roan back in his own corral. There can't be any more riding today. How's Curly? All right, Jim. He's all right. He's coming, too. We better go take a look at him, haven't we? Come on. Well, I'm all right, Flora. Come on, let's get on his feet. I'm all right. How you feeling, Curly? Not hurt, huh? Oh, nothing broken, I don't reckon. Uh, you're going to be all right in the morning. And just as poor as ever. Better take him to the bunkhouse, boys. All right. We'll have that thing full pretty soon. <laughs> he took a pretty hard bump. Oh, I do wish we could do something to stop this contest. Someone's going to get killed. Gee, Alice, the boys will never stand for it now. There's too much at stake. You'll feel differently about it in the morning. Sure you will. It's going to be all right. Listen, I want you to ride over to Bat's place and bring the gang back here. I've got a scheme all figured out. Yeah? Well, supposing you let me in on it. Right after dark, I plan to get a rope around that roan's neck and get him out of the corral. After I get him far enough away, I'll choke him down. Now, Savvy? Yeah, I get you. And in the morning, you'll be able to ride him easy like, eh? You said it. Now, Dust. Say, listen. Why bring in the gang? Me and you can handle this job alone. You know we gotta get that herd out of the country. With that roan corral, they'll catch up with us in no time. Oh, all right. <laughs> the only horse you'll ever ride is on a merry-go-round. Oh, yeah? <laughs> you didn't look like no horse plaster on that roan yourself. Oh, take it easy now, Curly. You want me to peel these chaps off for you? No, no, Benny, just leave them on. I'll get them off in a minute. Give me a drink of water, Johnny. Sure, Curly. Oh. Well, partner, how you feeling now? Comfortable? Yeah, I'm all right, Kent. 
just kind of dizzy in the head. <laughs> dizzy, says you? Boy, you sure get my nanny. Your head, solid bone, and your brains in your... What you gonna call it? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be all right a little bit, anyhow. That was a plumb lousy trick you pulled on me, Bart. And I'll be remembering it when I get out of this bed. Say, you insinuating I tried to get you thrown? Well, I was just cheering you on. On his back, you mean? I ain't insinuating nothing. I'm just making a straightforward statement. You pulled a fast one, and it's a dirty trick. Say, you... Just a minute, mister. If Curly ain't able to help himself, you can do your arguing with me. Oh, yeah? Well, I'll bend the six feet over. Can. You stay out of this, boys. Robert's let this come to for a long time. He's gonna get it right now. Come on now. did just as good a job as I was wishing I could do. It's all right, kid. Well, that was a real fight. Huh? And how? Oh, you sure oh, shot the moon that time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A dollar and a half you owe me, and six bits with you. Yeah. I'm even with you, boy. All right. I'll cut out the argument. I want to go to sleep. You know, we're going to draw off that run tomorrow, and I might get a chance to ride him. You won't want to ride him after tomorrow night. Why, you pot hope. <laughs> Come on, deal him up here, fellas. <laughs> What you doing, partner? Trying to figure out how many acres I lost by getting bucked off? No, Curly. I'm just putting two and two together. That old tune of yours, the nature of that wild horse. I think I got something pretty good here. Get that guitar of yours. Let's try it. All right. Boy. Hey, Shanty. Yeah? Come on. Get that old pie box of yours, that push box. Let's sure. try this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are we going to play? Here, right here. Let's try that. Don't worry, then. All right, are you ready? Oh, yeah, have at it, partner. I was hanging around, just wasting my time. Out of a job, but not holding the time. When a fellow steps up and he says, I suppose, that you're a wrong fighter by the looks of your clothes. Oh, you guessed that right, and a good one I claim. Have you got it? I'll take some of the boys and get that herd started. Now, you know what I want done to that room. Leave it to me. I'll fix them so a baby could ride them. Okay. Come on, boy. Come on. All right, boys. Bring them on out. You ain't playing the thing right. 
What do you mean I'm not playing it right? You got it in the wrong key yourself. What do you mean the wrong key? Well, I've had it in this key for years. Hey, listen, why don't you tune it down then if he wants it down low? All right. If he wants it up, change it. Well, let him tune his. I've got mine all right. How can he change that pie box without jerking all the stops out of it? He can't tune his up. Or down either. <laughs> <Certainly not. laughs> well, I ain't going to tune this and Fetch it right here. Come on. No, no, that's the wrong one. Right over here. See, right in the, in the C. You what are you? See? Hey, left, left, left in the hair, Shanty. Right here. Right. Hey, hey, Cam. You ain't running out on us, is you? I guess you're just getting disgusted with your own words to my two. It's not the words that's bothering me. The way you want to sing them. <laughs> Boy, I always told you about my hair. All right, let's start now. Let's start Well, if right. you just give me an up to... Shanty, Shanty, you can make me mad, madder than it... Than it, it Come on now. That's not starting the number. Now let's start we'll the put number. Put it in. Right, huh? See him. Come on. Come on. And don't argue with me anymore. Let's talk in a more plain. We'll play your own instrument right, then. Come on. Good evening, Alice. Why, Ken. I thought I heard you playing with the boys in the bunkhouse. Well, I was. But I... I had something else on my mind, and I... I just walked away from them. Yes? Well, you see... It's such a pretty evening and all. Well, I... I thought maybe... Maybe you'd go riding with me. I will. You go saddle my horse. Sure, I will. Well, looks like you took an awful lot for granted. You ain't mad, are you? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> It'll only take me one minute to change my clothes. All right. Miss Alice, you know... Somebody's moving a bunch of your father's saddle horses up the draw. I didn't know they was taking out anything tonight. Did you? Neither did I. You better wait here a minute. I'll go down and find out what that's all about. Come on, boy.
yourself, boys. Turn him loose. That stampede will run us down. Come on, Alice. Can you make it? I think so. You all right now? Certainly. Tarzan. Oh. Good work, old man. Mighty good work. I'll say it was, Tarzan. <laughs> We'd better look after that ankle of yours now, Alice. Oh, it's all right. Don't bother, Ken. Well, how do you know? Let's take the boot off. Come on. It's all right. I just turned it. Let me take a look at that. Give me that foot.
Call him in that box canyon. If I could just ride that old strawberry roan, I'd be sitting pretty. And then we could... Head on in. Get it on in there, fellas. I guess you'll have to ride double, Alice. Come on. I sure hate to do this, Jim. Well, we've got to do it, Colonel. Shoot that horse down cold blood, are you? It does seem cold blooded, son, but it looks like the only way out. That horse is a menace to the rain. You're wrong, Colonel. He never did anything but fight for his freedom, like he did when you had him penned up for that contest. How about that stock he's been stealing? I'm not so sure he ever stole any stock. Do you mean to say they were taken by rustlers? Sure as shooting. By early this evening, I caught your foreman running off one of your best bands of saddle stock. It was his shooting started to stampede. Where is Bart? Hey, get your ropes on him, boys! Don't let him get away! He won't get away this time. I didn't know that hombre is down here with you. I figured he'd be making his getaway, or I'd have had him a long time ago. All right, old man, what's this? Hey, uh, Connie got that last call of day, huh? Bart, for a long time I've known you've been rustling off stuff and laying it on the roan. Tonight's the first time I ever had the goods on you. What have you got to say for yourself? Oh, I guess you've said about all there is to say. Take them on into town. Turn them over to the marshal. I'll appear against them. Colonel, I still think we ought to rid the range of that roan right now. You're right, Jim. He don't belong to nobody, and I reckon nobody wants him. Ken, isn't there any way we can save him? I think so, honey. Colonel? Before you pass sentence on that roan, I'd like mighty well to have my chance to ride him. But Ken, Jim and I decided to give up the contest. Oh, you did, huh? I'd hate mighty bad to think of a Westerner going back on his word. Hmm. You're right, son. I never looked at it that way. Shall we draw names? Are you all willing to let Ken have next try, now that Bart's gone? Sure, let him have at it. Let him have it. Thanks, Colonel. Boys, let's put a saddle on that pony. We'll get going right now. Ken, I, I'm afraid. It's the only way we can save his life, honey. If I ride him, he'll belong to me. Don't worry. I guess I'm going for a ride, all right. We'd like to get a deep seat on him, but. Yeah, just easy, Hank. Yeah, Get her down tight there, cowboy. All right, you ready, boys? Oh, he's right him, come on. on. What, Tony Moose? Come
the way I should have wrote him. Contest is concerned, it's old. All right, Colonel. Then I want to take advantage of that old time range law. The right of possession to a wild horse I've rode. Fair enough, kid. You've won that right as well as the ranch. Thanks a lot. Now, just one more thing I want to do for the roan. Old boy's sure a good hand, is he, fellow? Yes. Come on, honey. I'll take him now, boys. Well, uh, now, Ken. Oh, he's all right. <laughs> he give me a good ride, but he's a good horse. The old roan, huh? Come along, let me have him. We'll get him. Well, old pony, you're mine, but I'm going to give you back the reins. How'd you like that, huh? Go ahead. 